and strata of the society are invited to the government house to celebrate the So to take all children off the school and if possible to bring a law that will prohibit the hugging of children. has compounded the challenge of insecurity for children in the state. Across the country, and particularly in the Northeast, poverty, acute malnutrition, and food insecurity rates are increasing. We must redouble efforts to address gender-based violence and sexual violence in schools and communities. from the IDP camps, the ones from the private schools and other public schools spoke eloquently on a topic that is so germane and that is the message of today. Encouraging our children to reach the greatest height no matter their religious, cultural or ancestral background. Borno is for everybody and it is our joy, our happiness that we've been able to showcase this in our children. That was a panel of discussion by the children drawn from public, private, and IDP camp schools on the topic effect of COVID-19 on Nigerian children, the way forward. Wife of Borno State Governor Dr. Falmata Babagana Omarazulu reiterated the commitment of this administration to prioritize girl child education and health needs of the children. I would like parents, caregivers, 
to not introduce their children to court because this endangers their life, it exposes them to gender based violence, and it takes them away from school. So I would like all parents and the government also to take all children off the school, and if possible, to bring a law that will prohibit the hugging of children. Commissioner for Women Affairs and Social Development, Zue Ragambo, and the UNICEF Chief of Field Office, Fiong Gunyang, call for action to protect the mental health of the children and address the learning gap created by the COVID-19. The Ministry of Women Affairs and Social Development is not left behind. Moreover, we have a very strong support as a pillar in his wife. She may be young, but she's a very young intelligent and dynamic woman. So between the husband and the wife, we have no reason not to celebrate these children. They are the leaders of tomorrow. We want to show the great talents we have. All the children from the IDP camps, the ones from the private schools and other public schools spoke eloquently on a topic that is so germane, and that is the message of today. Encouraging our children to reach the greatest heights, no matter their religious, cultural, or ancestral background. Borno is for everybody, and it is our joy, our happiness, that we've been able to showcase this in our children. No doubt, COVID-19 pandemic has compounded the challenge of insecurity for children in the state. Across the country, and particularly in the Northeast, poverty, acute malnutrition, and food insecurity rates are increasing. We must redouble efforts to address gender-based violence and sexual violence in schools and communities. Across the country, and particularly in the Northeast, the children took over the show with the speaker children parliament ibrahim zanna expressing joy for being recognized by government to celebrate their day government should aggressively pursue the possibility of connecting our schools to the internet to facilitate e-learning various activities ranging from poems, debates, and lots more. We are featured. We are some of the children shared their experiences. <laughs> happy to meet the governor's wife. I am happy because today is Children's Day. Happy Children's Day. I feel happy. Government is celebrating us today. I met new children, many and my classmates, and I also greeted them. We feel like like that we are important in this country and I want to thank the governor and the governor's wife for everything they have done for us. I feel so happy because I came here, met plenty friends and also had fun. I'm happy because government is celebrating us today. I thank governor's wife, Dr. Falma Tababagana Omara Zolo. I feel great. I feel happy. I'm grateful to them. I'm grateful to them that I had a privilege to stay to play my violin. So happy coming to the government house because this is my first time of coming to the government house. I am very highlighted. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Borno State, Professor Babagana Omara Zolo, called the And every presented by Her Excellency. It is 
indeed an honor and privilege to be here today. Permit me to say that to the best of my knowledge, this is the first time that Barnostia children from all social background and strata of the society are invited to the government house to celebrate the children's day. This can only happen during the dynamic and proactive leadership of a person of your caliber. God bless you about it. Uh, let me use this opportunity of your presence to highlight the debilitating and destructive effects of COVID-19 on children in Borno State. The destruction of our academic activities has done incalculable damage to our side. It has led to an increase in out-of-school children, and some parents use the pandemic lockdown to marry out their teenage daughters. It has led to an increase in substance abuse by underage children. I therefore wish to suggest, among other things, that government should aggressively pursue the possibility of connecting our schools to the internet to facilitate e-learning. Government should also link our public libraries to the internet. Broadband penetration should be pursued. I can go on and on, but, but, but most of the children are satisfied that you are doing your best within the available resources. More power to you. At this juncture, I want all children to stand up and give His Excellency three voices. Everybody, stand up, all children. Mr. Speaker. Let's give His Excellency three powerful voices. Bosa, Bosa, Bosa. Thank you. In partnership with humanitarian actors, this year's celebration is unprecedented as the children parted home with gifts, including cash, presented by the wife of Bernard State Governor, Dr. Falomata Zulum. <laughs>